Hey guys, most of you know me and the Grow Lighting channel because of the Grow Light reviews I do. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of Grow Lights now at this stage from many different manufacturers, many different types, sizes, spectrum, etc. You may not know that I also manufacture my own range of Grow Lights, the um, Migro Array. And I thought you might be interested to see all that information, that experience that I have in um, looking at other people's lights, what I've decided to do with my own. So, I'm just going to run through you with you the array series and range, how it's designed, why it's specified the way it is, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll see where I'm coming from. So the first thing to look at is LEDs and spectrum. And as you may see when you go around and look at lots of different manufacturers and what they specify now, we're all pretty much doing the same thing. And uh, I certainly would be no different. Now in terms of the array spectrum, there are Samsung LM281B uh, LEDs. Not the highest efficiency, um, slightly lower than the top tier uh, LM301H for example. But if, you, if they cost less, you can use more of them. And uh, so I put more LEDs into the same sort of wattage or similar wattages that other people would use with 301Hs. And because I'm driving them at lower current, I get higher or equivalent efficiency. So to me, these are the best bang for buck. They're Samsung, so they're as reliable. Spectrum is the same. And I mix the 3000K warm and uh, 5000K cool white. And that gives, uh, it basically just broadens out the spectrum, giving you a balance between um, having enough blue and having maximizing the red in the, um, in the spectrum output. I also have the 660 nanometer reds in addition, which add electrical efficiency. Well, that's micromoles per watt output. They increase that number. And also the photosynthetic efficiency because red is higher um, efficiency in photosynthetic terms i.e. Uh, red photons uh, create more photosynthesis than others, marginally, but it, it is a difference. I don't use uh, UVA LEDs because I don't think they um, add anything to the party. It's basically plants see them as blue, deep blue, and uh, they're just uh, too, they're not as efficient in terms of photosynthetic output and uh, don't give good bang for book. And I don't add far red. These, uh, there's about 3% far red emitted from these and pretty much every other standard um, white LED, which um, anything more than 4 or 5% far red will cause stretching. So having 3% in your standard um, spectrum, but in, my, in, in my view, is fine. And, and the uh, 730 nanometer reds are not required, the uh, far reds. In terms of the structure of the lights or the format, there's lots of different formats available at the moment. There's the sort of quantum board type, so the large LED board with multiple LEDs on it. And then usually, so if it's HLG or um, uh, Spider Farm or whomever, um, they will have multiple boards then for larger grows. You also have the large single format um, LED bar type, you know, for a 4x4 or 5x5, so you have 600 or so, 700, 800 watt fixtures, the large, bulky, inflexible. And then you have the linear lights um, in single strips, which are usually for large commercial applications. Uh, for Migro, the array, um, our system is a bar type lights, but it's modular. Um, and I want that because I want flexibility, flexibility in terms of um, scaling up or down your grow room, uh, adding bits on, taking them off, filling um, as many different size and shaped spaces as possible, and also multiple heights and levels within your grow room and having different plants at different stages of growth and being able to control them separately. So it starts off with the micro range, the array with the array two, which is a two bar setup. Then we got the array four, which would be the one here in a four by two, that's four bars. And then we have the array three, which is a three bar setup. These are longer bars. 
and then uh, all the way up to the array 8 and the array 12 for 4x4s and uh, 5x5s. The reason we do this is, as I said, you see this example here where it's showing the flexibility. This is an array 8, um, which is made up of, it's 8 bars, so it's made up of 2 array 4s. Um, but even with the array 4s, we can split them into 2. As you can see here, we're covering um, some little seedlings down here and some vegging plants here. And you can just adjust the dimming for that part, for that element of the grow, and adjust the hanging height for different requirements. And then at the back, you can see the um, array 4 there for the taller, more mature plants. So it gives a real high level of flexibility. And then we have the drivers. So it's uh, one driver for each 250 watts or array 4. But they are daisy chained for power and for dimming. So from a setup and control point of view, they can be the one. So you can have them joined together and operating at the same dimming, the same power circuit, timing circuit, where you can split them up and separate them if you want that flexibility. The Array 3, as I said, it's longer bars. That's really to give good coverage in from anywhere from sort of two and a half foot up to by two and a half foot, so 75 by 75 centimeter tents up to one meter by one meter. Um, three and a half by three and a half foot. Uh, it's just a little single array too. You can see the 12 bar setup, the array 12 in a five by five or 1.5 by 1.5 meter, really covers that area well. It's the same lights with the same bars. And then we got the three drivers here, uh, daisy chained together and operating simultaneously. And see the dimming there. So dimming them all together. Um, some other features or flexibility, so from a hanging rack arrangement, you can see you've got uh, an array 4 here. This is a 1.5 by 1.5 meter shelf, sorry 1.5 by 0.6 meter shelf, sorry. Um, and we've got an array 4 hanging here. In terms of hanging, got lots of different uh, arrangements. So the LED bars have holes at each end, hanging points at each end of the bars that you can use. And you only need, you can see that, about two inches or five centimeters above, just for the cable runs. You then have the hanging arrangement for the Array 4, which is just one hanger on each end, runs up with the, um, with the power cable. And then if you've got a single light, um, like the Array 2 or the Array 3, you can hang off the cable hanger here. So we've got uh, two ratchet hangers suspending it simultaneously. So you can adjust height, but it will stay, um, it'll stay um, stationary in terms of the position. We also are starting a new line, which is seedling and um, uh, little micro growing lights. So we have separated out, here it is one of the bars from the Array 2 and one of the bars from the Array 3, basically a 50 and a 75 watt bar and with, a, with their own little driver. And we are just demonstrating and testing these lights as being suitable for growing. You can see here it's um, lettuce. That's about a six day grow now, expecting about a 10, 11 day turnover for the lettuce and then microgreens. These are only five days under lights. We have to do about seven or eight days under lights to get them to full maturity and bulk. It's a little flexibility of the, uh, of the product is to go into, um, to use these little bars separately. I'm not going to bore you with all of the power charts um, for all of the light fixtures. The efficiency in terms of the delivered power divided by the power consumed, so the usable PPF output is about 2.3 to 2.4, which is right up there. Depends on the, um, the lighting configuration. That's a PPF per watt of, of 2.7. 
Um, so yeah, right up there in terms of efficiency up in the top table. I think you'll find the prices are very good. Links are below to the shops. We sell, we have um, stores, uh, we have warehouses I should say in Ireland serving the EU and the UK and also in the US. Uh, we're on Amazon too, links below and we have resellers, we're building reseller network in different countries so if you're not in Europe or North America you might find them down below. US and Europe and UK uh, free shipping and uh, yeah what more can I say? Um, if you like the channel please support the products, we'd really appreciate it. Um, click the links below, just have a browse around, let me know what you think of the range, of the approach I've taken in terms of the design. It's not to everybody's taste, some people just want a big fixture, do a 5x5 five five and that's it, turn it on, turn it off, no flexibility. Not the approach I've gone, but I, I've gone, but I'd be really interested to hear what you think of that approach and uh, happy to hear your criticism as always if there is any. I will listen to your feedback and uh, yeah, as you can tell I'm mildly embarrassed to be promoting my own stuff. So uh, yeah, anyway, the guys in here, Stephen in particular who I work with was telling me, Shane you're promoting everybody else's lights, you need to uh, promote your own. So here it is, hope you enjoyed, take care.